What's up guys, it's Unders and today we're having a little look at this dynamic delay plugin from the guys over at Initial Audio. So for the most part, it's got the controls of a regular delay. But really, that's what it is. It's a nice sounding delay. So if we have it just as the effect on the vocals here. That's exactly what it's doing. And control wise, we've got our rate, but we can also go independent left and right, which is nice. So if we adjust the rate, it adjusts either side the same, but if we individually adjust one, we can actually have them at different rates left and right. Which is kind of cool, so we can have things singing around. Useful, right? If we adjust it again, it's gonna snap them back both to where they were. Let's set them back on one four. But a similar thing for feedback, we can do overall feedback, or we could feed the left and right ever so slightly differently and you know get a slightly different feedback and create that big wide stereo feel. And detune it as well, which is something you don't see on all delays, useful to have, can be fun for uh, effects. Get yeah, that shimmering underwater feel. Could work really well on this track, that kind of feel. Standard high cut and low cut, nice dampening and sort of a reverb effect as well. You know, delay and reverb very tightly knit. So we can have this guy killing two birds and one stone for us, which is kind of useful. Now where this becomes its own very useful effect is it saves a couple of steps in the mixing phase. If we go over to the left hand side, we've got this bit that says dynamic control. Now at the minute, we're only listening to the effect, none of the actual raw vocal. And I've done that because I want you to be able to hear this effect here. So usually if I put lots of reverb on something or a delay on something, it's gonna get in the way of the rest of my track. And case in point here, if we put this at a relatively high level and we play this track back, this will be loud. Oh. All of that reverb and delay, why it sounds great, it gets in the way of the rest of the mix. What this plugin aims to do is just take that step away of then having to sidechain and gate and do everything on your delay and reverb by having the dynamic control over here on the left hand side. So if we go back to just having the wet solo, we bring this threshold right down. When it, the delay is out of this threshold, it's gonna bounce away for us that delay effect. So you can hear it pumping away, and that's based on the threshold here. If we bring it right up here. Not as much, bring it right down. It's just helping bring that out the way of where the drums are likely to hit, kind of based on the rate, right? And we can have it as a really quick release, so it gets out of the way a lot quicker. So let's have it so the delay is only what 3 dB lower and we'll stick a bunch of reverb in as well. That's one hell of a mix, right? Let's see if we can get away with that in our mix right off the bat. I reckon we might be able to.
So hopefully you can hear there how the dynamic control is getting that reverb and delay out of the way of the key elements of the track. So when it's in play, without having to do too much work, basically, it's helping me get a better result with my track. I can saturate it with reverb and delay, just use the dynamic control, and I've got back the elements where it would be getting in the way. I don't need to go in and EQ sections out or set up gates to trigger with side chains or side chain compress it to drop at key moments. It's doing it in plugin for me, which is super, super useful. And I just wanted to show you guys that I think it's a really nice idea to have in a nice sounding delay. Uh, and just some of the things that are available in here at this kind of price point is fantastic. So I hope that video was helpful for you guys. I hope that gives you an idea of the purpose of that dynamic control and the dynamic delay. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care.